Hey Cancer, thank you so much for joining. So we're gonna go ahead and do your love reading. This is gonna be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So what I'm kind of getting here also, I feel like actually with the High Priestess, this Divine Masculine Energy could be going through a bit of a spiritual shift, um, a spiritual awakening. But when I'm looking at this card and being shown teardrops, again, there's something about processing some trauma or pain right now from the past. Um, and I feel like this has been, I'm hearing that it's almost like he's trying to push it down or he's been trying to push this down for a while. So in his journey right now, it feels like he's coming to terms with many things that I feel he's been rejecting. And I do feel like there's this, because they're showing me a different card also from one other deck that I have, where it kind of shows somebody on the other side, someone on like a, the spiritual world, and then one person over here in the 3D world, and there's a hand kind of reaching out. So I feel like he could be in the process of almost trying to um, figure out a little bit more about spirituality or to awaken a bit more but there's also this fear there's this kind of resistance I'm picking up on as well that he could be feeling or going through I'm also picking up here what spirit is telling me is that there's something to do with loyalty and let's see what about that what else for the divine masculine here there are so many messages I'm getting. I'm also picking up this Divine Masculine. Could have been somebody who maybe possibly was bullied as a child, or if it wasn't being bullied, it was something to do with um, just a trauma that happened early on in childhood. I don't know if he is aware of it or if this is something that he's unaware of, but it feels like this is also something that I feel he's still holding on to with the High Priestess. But... He's starting starting to understand that this has been causing more harm than good, is what I'm hearing, or more confusion than necessary. So that's what I'm hearing to, here too. So I feel like... Divine Masculine Energy. Where is he currently at? What energies are coming up here? So if this is you, you know, if you are watching this and you are Divine Masculine um, or if you are Masculine side, there's a feeling here of having to maybe understand where that comes from. Try to process that. Try to um, see it more clearly. Try to understand it from a different perspective or to turn the page on your journey, I'm hearing. He's trying to turn the page on his journey. Where is the Divine Masculine at? Five of Cups reversed, Judgment, yes. Okay. So it's kind of like there's been these pit stops along the way. Like maybe he's had a journey on his spiritual path and he's made these sort of like small pit stops where he's been improving, but then he sort of falls back, or then he's been improving and then he falls back. Um, there's a feeling of him acknowledging that or trying to understand why there's this pattern that keeps repeating. Uh, yeah, Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups in reverse, kind of like a bit of a confusion, a bit of a lost soul energy I'm hearing. And I feel like his soul is wanting to find more resolution and peace. I'm also hearing that he is somebody who's going through a process right now too of taking responsibility for certain things because I'm being shown pointing fingers, kind of pointing fingers or blaming people or maybe even people around him have blamed him. Something about blame here and it's almost like I'm getting that he's also been taking on the energy of many different people around him many different roles, many different identities, and he's trying to come to, to terms with releasing that so that he can understand his own skin better. 
you know it's almost like a bit of like this raw vulnerable energy um but i feel like in order to get there he is going to first have to understand what triggers him i'm hearing as well so there's a jumble of different things going on for him but rising from the ashes i'm also hearing he may have gone through a bit of a dark night of the soul or there's a certain aspect here of his life that has been moving through a dark night of the soul and again i'm picking up with the eight of pentacles he's slowly starting to work on those certain things to bring more peace and harmony into his life so it's not like a super immediate process but i feel like he's in a journey to i'm also hearing traveling or traveling the world he could also be wanting to open up to new cultures new ideas new um, environments and kind of open and expand his mind here Four of Wands. Eight of Wands at the bottom. Yeah, I'm being shown a snail, <laughs> moving at snail's pace. But actually what they're telling me with the Four of Wands and the Judgment and the, and the Eight of Wands is he kind of wants to eliminate... Um, snail's pace energy and i'm hearing my focus has been on the wrong things or my focus has been elsewhere with the seven of cups here so basically there's a lot of different energies but what i'm picking up mainly is that he is in a process here or you whoever's watching um, of trying to slowly pick up pieces become more stable become more grounded and to focus the intentions forward on what really matters what is really a priority um, and learning how to speak for himself i keep hearing so there definitely may have been some forces or other people something that kind of kept him from his truth or speaking his his true opinion or voice um, and I feel like that's also something coming in here too for him where he wants to follow, I'm hearing, the path of gold, not the path of fool's gold. And this emperor here that, that came out, I mean, this is the divine masculine energy. And I'm hearing that he's wanting to stand tall. He's wanting to kind of not shrink himself or not to um, let the world swallow him is what I'm hearing. So he sort of wants to become more, uh, I guess, masculine, something about like the, 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 like the action he's putting in, the dedication, the stability. Um, I'm also hearing that he's having the courage to face, again, certain things. I don't know, this could be a combination of uh, things that were in his past, maybe like bullied him, or just the energy of that, the memory of that. Uh, and also just not even just bully really but it's like he wants to take more control over his future he doesn't want to see down the line he looks back and it didn't happen or he didn't take those risks or those chances or not just chances but he didn't really put in the work towards what mattered that's kind of what i feel he's going through in a mental process right now yeah, your dreams need a practical plan. I'm hearing this the Divine Masculine too could have been somebody who did kind of dabble in certain addictions or um, just energies that were more... It's interesting because I'm being drawn back to the Divine Feminine reading I did and I had mentioned that there was kind of a spreading thin of the Divine Feminine that she was wanting to come back to center. It's a little bit similar um, I do think that there's a mirroring aspect going on where this divine masculine energy could have, on the other hand, been spreading himself too thin in terms of giving away his power to these different cups, if that makes sense. Kind of like putting different energies into different things when really 
what that did was it numbed the pain temporarily or it kind of allowed for him to have an escape route. But with this judgment here and your dreams need a practical plan and the emperor, I'm seeing a more sense of wholeness. Um, I'm hearing something shifted recently. So this could have been recently this year or something about something recently shifted here with the judgment card um, that helped to illuminate a pattern. I am picking up for some specific here. There may have been a truth or something let out in his environment that led him to understand this judgment or this like pattern that he was repeating. And kind of like putting the puzzle together as to what has been remained hidden with the high priestess. So where has that certain trauma been or where has that certain pattern been? And wanting to, again, kind of shift that dynamic into more action. This Divine Masculine also could have been somebody who procrastinated a lot or had kind of had a lazy energy and he wants to shift that and change that too right now. So I'm also hearing too, this is a certain pattern in his family, uh, maybe around the father or something to do with like, how should I say? Kind of being told to be a certain way or being shaped in a certain way or trying to be molded into a certain identity that he didn't identify with and that's also what this is saying here too that he's wanting to almost like do something a bit unique or different it's like i'm getting there's also this energy with the high priestess where he could be integrating the spiritual side that he may or may not have awakened to before and apply it practically as well so it's like molding the two together or blending the two together so for example maybe he's had a certain passion to do something that he's wanted to do but his family didn't approve or maybe um it's like he's coming to more self-acceptance but for him it's different than the feminine energy it's it's a different energy this is more outward which makes sense and the feminine energy was more inward. I mean, this is inward too, but it's different. It's more of like how he displays himself to the world or how he um, is able to bring that masculine energy forward with the emperor. And there was something that happened that maybe kind of held him back in many ways. And I feel like he wants to take back that power and not follow the footsteps maybe of what was told to him or how he felt that he had to be. So like a rule. Anything else here, Spirit, for the Divine Masculines right now? I'm hearing the name Cameron. What else for the Divine Masculine Energy, please, Spirit? I'm also getting to, this is again not for everybody, for some masculine there could have been an anger problem, anger management I'm hearing, um, and possibly connected to his family. If it's not him, I mean it could have been sort of like he picked up on that, or he had seen that in his family or his parents, and that's something also coming up here too, he's wanting to um, Come to, again, resolution, come to terms with that, come to acceptance, a win-win outcome is forecast and judgment. So yeah, I feel like releasing that. For some specifically, they could even be going through, or he could even be going through um, resolving family ties or resolving a situation that felt impossible at some point. And I think the way he's doing this could be through forgiveness or through various forms of um, letting that go and kind of forgiving, kind of, I'm hearing not let it harden you, not let the world kind of get to you, not let that make you turn angry or cold. 
So a win-win outcome is forecast. Yeah, I do feel, again, they're bringing me back to the High Priestess. He could be going through a bit of a spiritual, like maybe investigating or... Um, not investigating, I don't know why I use the word investigating, but researching or finding out more about spirituality if he has not already done so, or maybe even just furthering the path, because there's a feeling of like wanting to co-create here with the universe or wanting to begin to believe in a higher power. But again, it's almost like I don't know if he's conscious of this or if this is something that he's doing at a more like subconscious level almost like his soul is nudging him there because i feel like some of them could even be stepping into their north node i'm hearing or a true path that they're meant to walk um and there's definitely a really positive feeling of coming out of a dark time or coming out of a time that felt yeah dark or dragging it through that's what I'm seeing here. So let's see if there's any other messages here that we need to know. Anything else, please, Spirit, for the Divine Masculine right now? Anything else? Yeah, and I'm also picking up here too, again, this could be specific, but I keep hearing that he's coming to resolutions or compromise with people in his life that he doesn't really fit in with anymore or identify with. Um, for some, this could involve a relationship. Let me actually clarify that here. I will do an extended for this and we'll get a little bit more information and see what this is and where he's going, but I want to see a little bit more here because I am picking up there's something about him also yeah the tower in reverse rip the band-aid off I saw that I think for the Taurus reading too ripping the band-aid off is there anything else for it here for the divine masculine yeah they're showing me an oyster like a closed up oyster and then trying to crack that trying to open that trying to release that and again the same message about a certain pattern or addiction or um, energy that felt impossible to break for a while he wants to i'm hearing seattle i don't know why something about seattle maybe somebody lives in seattle or um I don't know why they're showing me a museum. I don't know if there's a specific museum at Seattle uh, with artifacts in it. I don't know what that's about, but maybe that's for somebody specific there. I don't know if he works there or... I don't know. Let me know if that resonates with somebody. I have no idea if there's a museum there. So, okay. Any final message here about this win-win outcome, please, Spirit? Expressing himself more clearly, sky blue, turquoise. Expressing himself more clearly. Feels like cool water. Six of Pentacles in reverse. I was careless, I'm hearing. I was careless. Okay, I'm hearing no means no. So I almost feel like there's... I just keep picking up on resolution, resolving, resolution, five of pentacles here, but it's like, let me get the final card here to put this together. So give us the final card for the divine masculine here, because there's something I'm feeling, but I can't figure out what it, it's like, there's a feeling of, 
Okay, they're telling me the grass, something about the grass being greener. Basically, it's like there's a certain energy here, a certain feeling, and then there's a resolution with that difficult energy to move into over here, which is more of this practical plan, more solid for the future. So I feel like there could even be, um, yeah, severing of ties I'm hearing, burning bridges, something that I feel is just being released. But there may have been a boundary instilled here, like, I do feel a strong level of disappointment coming from this, but again, it's kind of leading him somewhere better. So it could even be like um, an ending of something or even something involving finances or family that feel difficult to cope with at first. But he's realizing that some people can't change is what I'm hearing. So I don't know if this is about a relationship he's in or this is about something around him, his environment. It's something about realizing that this cannot change or sometimes things cannot change even though we want them to or even if we try to force things. It's like there's a forcing here. Um, yeah, so non-action. I saw effortless here too. So, okay, so any final message here for the Divine Masculine, please? Yeah, so surrender the idea that you can fix someone. It says, it's time for a relationship to shift. If it doesn't work to try to fix someone, each person must be held accountable for his or her own healing. Yeah, definitely surrendering unhealthy dynamics, unhealthy relationships. I'm hearing lukewarm. So maybe there's like a lukewarm energy that he's involved in. Um... So we'll look a little bit more at this in the extended and we'll see more where he's going here. And of course, if this is you, this is just guidance for you on what you need to hear, even your own masculine side. But I do feel like this is mainly in regards to taking control, taking power here uh, to release one-sided or unhealthy dynamics. So I hope that this reading could help. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will leave the links below in case you're interested. But if not, thanks so much for being here. And I will talk to you next time. Have a great day or evening. Take care and lots of love.